hey, it's a beautiful day here in the south. We just want to give a quick little follow-up video to the last video, but I'm going to tell you, it's uh, probably in the very low 70s, little breeze blowing, the leaves are falling. It's a wonderful, wonderful time of year here in the south. And, uh, but I do want to say this, this is, a, this is our little follow-up video to our last one, in which we talked about the importance of having a good name. If you haven't watched it, please go back and watch our last video in which we started discussing this. But I mentioned at the end of the last video that in our next video, we was going to talk about someone who did not let mistakes define their name. We was talking about your name, the importance of your name, not the importance as far as a proper name. Whatever your name might be, if it's Billy Bob or Sarah or whatever, that's not important. It's talking about the character, the light that you let others see in you. That's what we're talking about. Now, I will say this. We talk sometimes about mistakes. We all make them. I have made them. And you have made them. We all do because we're human. We're not perfect. But when we are sorry for that, and we repent before God and say, God, we made a mistake. We're sorry. We're moving forward. Then God will forgive us. And we can go forward and put the other behind us. Let's think about a man, for example, by the name of the Apostle Peter. Peter had several big events that you can think of in life. But do you know, uh, one, for example, will say is, of course, we know he was a disciple of Christ. But let's think about one, one little slip up he had once. The Bible talked about him being uh, there at the when they, Jesus was on trial. And the Bible tells us that there were some people that came and questioned Peter. And it said Peter denied the Lord three times that he even knew who Jesus was. But they said, oh, aren't you a follower of his? You was with him. He said, I don't know the man. And the Bible said he even cursed. Well, the Bible said after... Uh, he denied the Lord three times, and he heard the cock crow. He said, it, he said he went out and wept bitterly because he was sorry for what he did. He realized that he had, he had denied the Lord just as the Lord had told him he would do. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If Peter had stopped there, let's just say, for example, Peter had give up. He just said, I can't do it. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm not worthy. That would have been the last view that a lot of people had of Peter, and that would have been what stuck out into their mind. But when he got over that, when he got victory over that, the Bible said he went out and wept bitterly. God seen that. God forgave him. Do you know what then? A lot of people, we know the story about Peter. We know that happening. But that's not what we think of when you ask a lot of people about their the defining moments of Peter. For example, you might ask some people and say, what is it you think about when you think of the Apostle Peter? What's one big moment he might have had? You know, a lot of people is going to say, well, there was a time when Jesus said, who do men say that I am? And they say, well, some say you're Elijah and some say you're, you're you know, this one and that one. But Jesus said, but who do you say that I am? Some people are going to say, well, that was Peter that stood up and said, thou art the Christ. The son of the living God. That's what a lot of people's going to think of when they think of Peter. Then, then there's going to be other people that's going to say, well, but Peter was the one also on the day of Pentecost. In Acts chapter number 2, when, when the Holy Ghost had fell and it carried out into the streets and everybody's seen all these people being filled with the Spirit of God and they cried out and said, basically, what are we doing? What are we doing? What's going on? The Bible said Peter was the one that stood up and began to preach in Acts chapter number 2. And a lot of people will think of Peter. Well, he was the one that boldly stood up and began to tell them all, preach to all. He preached the, he preached the day of Pentecost sermon in Acts chapter number 2. Okay, here's my point. See, Peter did not let that mistake he made his moment of weakness defined him. He told God he was sorry. And he said, you know, he wept bitterly with, with sorrow. God forgave him. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of people wouldn't even list that now. 
We'd say Peter's the one that said, Thou art the Christ. Or Peter's the one that stood up and preached on the day of Pentecost. Say, Peter did not let his mistake define his character. But now if he would have quit when he made a mistake, if he would have said, I can't do it, Lord, sort of like Judas. Judas went out and hanged himself. If Peter had went out and hanged himself, that would have been what people remembered on his life. So what I'm telling you today is this. If you made a mistake, don't let that define your character. You can start now. You can start fresh right now. And let people see something in you that what they're going to see is they're going to see a child of God, a person that's living for God, a person that brings a smile to their life. Maybe you'll bring a smile to somebody's day that you work with, or maybe somebody that you're in school with, or maybe your neighbor, or maybe just your family. And that will be what defines your character. Somebody that's got Christ in them that makes people around you feel so much better. And that's what people need. In this hour, people need hope. People need to feel like there's something better out there. There's something out there that I know can make me happy. They're looking at me and you to supply that. And they're going to want what we've got. They're going to want that joy that we've got. And they're going to say, how do, you, how do you do it? How do you have a smile on your face? How do you have joy in your heart? And that's where it'll open the door and you can say, well, I'm living for God. You know, God's, God's there for you. God's there to help you. And maybe we can win people to Christ in this hour. So please, I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below. Just remember today, it's your character. It's the person that people see. That's what it's talking about when it says your name is important. The scriptures, and we'll put the scriptures again in the description box below. But we're talking about the same scriptures we talked about the last video. Like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Hit the bell for notifications and leave a comment below. Because I tell you what we want to do. We want to try to make your life just a little bit better. We hope to make you smile just a little bit more and feel a little bit better about God. Like, subscribe. Remember, God loves you. God bless you. And we'll catch you in the next video.